So welcome to the next in our online series of messages brought to you by the friends at First Church Raleigh in Raleigh, Massachusetts. This is Reverend Tom Bentley, the pastor, hoping that these messages can help you in your journey of life. If you'd like to know more about the First Church Raleigh, you can wait for the end of the video and there'll be some information there. So thank you for spending time with us. So grace to you and peace from our friend Jesus. The journey of faith is very much about seeking to encounter God. It, at least that's the way it can be understood in a number of teachings and traditions. In the Protestant tradition, in its earliest roots, in the Puritan years, one needed to have a conversion experience, an encounter with the divine. The prophet Isaiah encounters God and the book of Isaiah effectively begins with that calling, that connection to the divine the prophet experiences. It goes like this. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and lofty, and the hem of his robe filled the temple. Seraphs were in attendance above him, each had six wings, with two they covered their faces, and with two they covered their feet, and with two they flew, and one called to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts, the whole earth is full of his glory. The pivots of the threshold shook at the voices of those who called, and the house was filled with smoke. And I said, Woe is me, I am lost. For I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphs flew to me, holding a live coal that had been taken from the altar with a pair of tongs. The seraph touched my mouth with it and said, Now that this has touched your lips, your guilt has departed, and your sin is blotted out. And then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? And I said, Here am I. Send me. This sense of the momentous, the overwhelming, is very much like the Puritan understanding of conversion, where the human being doesn't have really a sense of comfort, but actually a sense of personal sin, a sense of brokenness, a sense of inadequacy, a sense of vulnerability. It's called awe. In the New Testament, there's a word thambus, which is about this idea of awe. It's that moment that we read of when Peter is in the boat with Jesus and they've just caught all these fish after having fished all night and not caught anything and Peter is blown away. He's astonished, he and the other disciples. But what does Peter do? What does he say? He says, Master, leave me, I'm a sinner. Leave me to myself. This holiness is too much for me. That's the experience of the prophet Isaiah. That's an authentic experience before the magnitude of the divine. I expect not many of us have had anything like that happen. Although maybe it has happened to you. Maybe in a moment of fear or vulnerability, you sense the magnitude of the universe, the immensity of it, the, uh, even the threat, it seemed, of what could overwhelm you as a vulnerable human being. In that moment, there is the way of understanding what holiness is. It's this idea of being set apart, not so much better than everything else, but just beyond our ability to grasp. And the involuntary moment that happens when the true encounter with God comes and this feeling of awe, close to fear and terror even, comes over us, we can begin to look at the sense of how to navigate a life of faith. 
a word acts comes to me in spiritual instruction we're invited to enter into a time of prayer first with adoration then with confession then with thanksgiving and then with supplication a c t s actually that's what we're seeing in this encounter between god and the prophet isaiah adoration is an easygoing way of being floored and blown away it really means awe what happens immediately to the prophet Isaiah is he said I'm a man of unclean lips I live in a land of a people with unclean lips he isn't worthy of the presence and power and the holiness of the divine yet he's purified he's forgiven and in that forgiveness there is this moment where we can call it thanksgiving and out of the thanksgiving comes a new understanding of purpose in life and that's the word supplication that's the word send me the presence of the call that's the flow of the divine that's the flow that changes people's lives as you seek in your journey of understanding perhaps god sometimes is too comfortable for a true discovery of the righteous presence of holiness in the universe maybe too much personability can get in the way of this idea of a creative force the divine creative force in the universe making things happen by calling us to be all we can possibly be in our human form that's mystery that's awe inspiring sometimes that's frightening i like to think that we can encourage the true acts again the adoration the confession the thanksgiving and the supplication as part of our discipline to gain a deeper sense of what God intends for us in our lives. That's when we will find that purpose that drives us more directly. That's when we can find clarity in the midst of shadows and confusion. If we're only looking in the mirror to feel comfortable, then there is really no room for holiness. So in the spirit of that invitation, that opportunity for spiritual discipline even perhaps that opportunity to find a sense of holy direction in our lives together as a people of faith and in your life as it moves i invite you to read this passage in isaiah the call of isaiah and ponder the prophet that is the journey of faith that is the constant moment of aha of awe of amazing grace. May those be the events in your life that help guide you and lead you to where you need to go. So in Jesus' name, amen. So thank you for spending time with us. If you'd like to know more about First Church Rowley, you can go online at firstchurchrowley.org. And of course, we'd always like to hear from you. You can call us anytime at 978 978- 948-3993. So peace and best wishes. Goodbye.